Hi, my name is Tara and I am starting this YouTube channel just to share knowledge with other people who might be starting out homesteading. I have learned a lot from YouTube and most everything you can imagine is on there. But um, sometimes you get in there where people are already established, they know what they're doing and they're kind of like experts. So you like to learn a lot from them. But if you were just starting out and you want to see the um, trials of getting started or um, you want to see my mistakes so you don't make them too, then follow me on this YouTube channel. I want to cover is what not to do. You can learn from the things that I have done. Um, if you are into gardening, I'll tell you the number one thing not to do. Don't grow tomatoes. <laughs> Don't grow tomatoes. Everyone wants that backyard garden tomato. Um, but I tell you, if you're new to gardening, tomatoes are one of the toughest things to grow. They are um, very finicky. They are heavy feeders. They need lots of fertilizer. They don't like to get their leaves wet. That's how finicky they are. So um, if you are just starting out gardening, don't grow tomatoes. There's your warning. <laughs> some of the varieties now if you must go get you a little patio tomato a grape tomato a small tomato not the big sandwich cutting ones just the little grape tomatoes um, the patio variety start start there you're welcome <laughs> Here's another reason why not to grow tomatoes. If you don't like bugs, these are tomato hornworms and they are big and they are nasty to squish, but chickens love them. Here's another thing. If you are gonna do animals, do think about predators. Um, electric netting, Premier One is good to keep predators out. Also think about guardian animals. We have a guard goose that we're putting with our chickens. There's also livestock guardian dogs. Um, so think about predators because they're out there and guess what? Everything likes to eat chicken. Do plant marigolds around your garden to help get rid of pests. And do plant lettuce and spinach. They're some of the easiest things to grow. In actuality, grow tomatoes if you like tomatoes. I grow tomatoes, even though I really don't eat a lot of, of tomatoes. <laughs> we always have more than we eat, and I only plant a few tomatoes. I actually plant mine in five gallon buckets, so I can put them wherever I want. Um, I do struggle with supporting them. I've tried bamboo posts, but my tomatoes are just all on the ground, but they're still growing. They're doing their stuff. We've gotten a lot of tomatoes uh, from our little garden. So, um, grow tomatoes if you want. <laughs> Just letting you know, they are one, one of the more difficult plants to grow. But they are lots of fun, uh, especially if you like tomato sandwiches. If you're in the south, like me, um, everyone loves a good tomato sandwich. Um, you gotta have that white bread and some mayonnaise and tomato and salt and pepper. So, grow tomatoes. Here's my zucchini over here where I had onions earlier. Onions are out and now I have zucchini. So, definitely recommend raised beds. Um, I need to find the pictures I took when I was making this raised bed and uh, what I put in it. And um, kind of do a video on that. Here's my Brussels sprouts. They've been growing. I did get uh, some cabbage worms on them. I recently learned that BT will take care of that. So uh, once a week application of BT will take care of your cabbage moths. So I'm gonna be doing that and definitely do that next year. Here's my okra. Still no weeds in my okra bed. My okra did not grow um, as prolific as I had hoped. And I got lima beans down at the other end. But I do have some okra growing too. So let's see if I can. Here's a big one right here. There's some 
big okra. So we like roasted okra. It's pretty good stuff. Lima beans, some rum and some uh, chicken broth. That's some good stuff too. Here's my marigolds that did not keep away the cabbage moths. So, uh, which reminds me, I do need to check over my Brussels sprouts and see um, how they're doing with those cabbage moths. And you can see my baby Brussels sprouts starting to grow right there. So, they're coming on. So I'm looking forward to some Brussels sprouts pretty soon. So, you know, everything is trial and error and, and learning as you go. But get out there, grow what you'll eat, or um, grow what you'll just enjoy watching grow. But get out there and grow something. So here are some of my do's and don'ts if you're getting started homesteading. I hope that helps. But um, I am going to show you how I filled my bamboo raised bed very cheaply and without using a ton of soil and compost and follow along and you'll see our turkeys as they grow our egg chickens what we have now and in the future we will have meat chickens which we have done before and meat rabbits and pasture raised pork so thank you i hope you guys enjoyed please like the video and subscribe